People are calling for change after a deadly car crash on Hobbs Island Road. Huntsville police believe 62-year-old James Michael Rusniak died last night when he drove his sports car through road barriers and into the Flint River. His body found inside his submerged car. Way 31's Alex Torres Perez joins us live where that deadly crash happened. Alex, you spoke to other drivers about the changes they want to see. Well, believe it or not, a million dollar safety project wrapped up here off Hobbs Island Road just last year. And some of those added safety features included guardrails. But drivers in the area say they want to see more changes soon. It's scary. People near Hobbs Island Road say they're always extra cautious when driving down the road, especially at night. It's so dark. There's no light. There's just that big drop, like that just ravine. No guardrail, no anything. Madison County Commissioner Craig Hill says guardrails were added to elevated areas on the road about a year ago. It was part of a million dollar safety project, but... I don't see any guardrails out there. Which is causing some frustration. Honestly, like, what, what am I paying for? What, what are my taxes going to? Drivers say they want to see more guardrails installed, especially after Sunday night's crash. It's a life, you know, lost right there, and it wouldn't have if they didn't, you know, if they fixed what they had to. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate that something like that has to happen in order for change to be made, but hopefully some change does happen and that it does light a fire under somebody because it could happen again right now. It could happen tomorrow. Now, crews just actually installed these road closed barriers in the last few minutes. That's on top of the barriers that set up, they set up this weekend for a separate project to replace a deteriorated pipe here on Hobbs Island Road. That project is expected to last around 10 days, so this road will be closed for the next 10 days. However, it's still unclear if there are any other safety projects on the schedule for Hobbs Island Road. Reporting live in Madison County, Alex Torres Perez, Way 31 News.